Hey fam, how's it going? Rafe Derazi here. So today I want to talk about an HIV cure. Dun dun dun. Uh, so the reason why I want to talk about it is because I've noticed a lot in YouTube comments, on Instagram comments, and on Twitter, and wherever basically someone can promote themselves on social media using my platform, there are people who are trying to propagate the idea that there is a cure, that this person has found it, or they know the person who has the cure, and if you just contact this person through WhatsApp or email or whatever and give them your credit card information, they will sell you said cure. And how much it upsets me that there are people doing that. I don't like to censor the comments on my own channel or on Instagram, stuff like that. But when it comes to this, I do my best to delete those comments when I see them because they're so counterproductive and so damaging for a lot of people out there. So just to be very clear, there is no established cure in the world at the moment. There are a lot of great potentials that are in the work through trials, through research, stuff like that, but there is nothing that has been proven yet and that consistently works. What these people are doing that are purporting to have a cure is they are preying on people who are weak, who are desperate, who are hurting, who have some kind of pain, and a lot of you understand what that is like to realize that you have HIV and the desperation and the denial and the just wishing that it didn't wasn't reality and if that there was a way for you to go back to the life as you knew it before your diagnosis or your loved one's diagnosis or something like that. So these people know what they're doing. They're not stupid. And it's like they're here to sell you snake oil. And a lot of these people, same people, say they have a cure for cancer and a cure for this and that and the other thing. If you eat three cloves of garlic every day, it'll cure you. No, it won't. It doesn't work like that. It's not that simple. And if that were the case, millions of people would have figured that out by now. And then there are those people out there who are under the mindset that there is a conspiracy that the pharmaceutical industry has the cure it's readily available but they've got it <laughs> why are you freaking out right now i'm trying to do a vlog doke you're being rude <laughs> this guy this guy he's he's jealous because he's not getting all the attention right now okay come here come say hi i'm saying hi doke okay let me do this vlog just for like 10 minutes please Okay. Bloody. Okay. So, as I was saying, there are people. <laughs> Buddy, there are people who are under the assumption that there is a conspiracy, that the cure is being held in some top secret lab, and that the pharmaceutical industry and other companies don't want it to come out because they're making so much money off of PrEP and off of the HIV medication itself, that it's better to just keep the cure under wraps so that they keep making millions and billions of dollars every year. Now, this is my take on that. I don't have any proof that there is a cure. There are no facts to back that up that I have come across yet. As far as I know, there is no group or anyone that has really organized together to go after a company or um, scientists or what, what have you because they have some sort of information on a cure and that it's being held. I don't have that information. I can't prove it. So my point is I choose to believe that there is no cure, that there is no conspiracy to hold back a cure because in my day-to-day -day life, in practical life, it doesn't serve me to believe that. In fact, it only has negative consequences. In my mind, if I'm thinking there's a cure out there, these this industry is holding it back, and therefore I'm oppressed, I'm a victim, I'm being held down, I'm being kept from being healthy, the government wants me to suffer, the government hates 
people like me, etc. What is that? Do you, do you understand what that does to your psyche on a day-to-day -day basis? It's, it's such an oppressive energy. It's such a negative, a powerfully negative force. And that can only harm you. And that can only do damage in your life. And I refuse to allow anything like that in my life. Now, if there is a legitimate cure, if this really is going on, hell yeah, we should be fighting, we should, we should go after it, we should employ lawyers, we should do whatever the hell we can to get it. But that is not the case today. It just isn't. So, for, for those of you who are like entertaining the idea of a conspiracy or like, I don't F with that. I don't mess with it. It just doesn't serve me whatsoever. And if you want to be healthy and you want to live with HIV or you know someone that li that's living with HIV, the best you can do is learn how to empower yourself, both physically, mentally, emotionally, so that you can be at your strongest. When you do that, when, you ha when your psyche is healthy and strong, it supports your immune system. Your overall health improves. So you gotta get out all the toxic stuff in your life, the toxic people, the toxic situations, the toxic ideas, and the toxic mental belief systems that you have, because those do not help you. If you wanna live your best life, you gotta focus on the positive, you gotta focus on the things you do have control over, and take back the reins. So that's what I have to say about that. I know it's difficult, and I know a lot of you are desperately seeking a way out of your current situation, but please, please don't fall victim to the guys out there who are trying to prey on you and take advantage of you, get your credit card information and, and whatnot to, to sell you a cure from Dr. Sebu, which I see a lot, S-E-B-U, and, and, and they leave their WhatsApp. Like that's, please don't fall victim to that. And also please don't fall victim to the mindset that you are an oppressed minority, that you are a victim, that you are being held down by the system, by the government, none of that serves you. None of that really affects you on a day-to-day -day basis. So you gotta like guard your heart, guard your mind, guard your spirit against the negative forces in the world that will try to disempower you and keep you from living your best life. Because the reality is, regardless of all that, with the way that medication is today, HIV is so manageable, and you can live as long as someone else who doesn't have HIV. If you're undetectable for six months or longer, you will no longer transmit the virus to anybody else. We've come so far, and the medicine is so good now that it just doesn't do you any good to focus on negative stuff like that. So, that's all I have to say today. I will be back shortly with so much more to talk about, but please, for those of you who are fixated on that, focusing on that, Please uh, take these words of advice, and I hope you're encouraged by it, and I hope you decide to focus on you, on your health, on your happy mindset, living your best life, and, and not focusing on negativity, but putting all the energy towards everything positive, no pun intended, in your life. All right, talk to you guys soon. Peace. Take care.